Philippians, the third chapter, and verse 10. These words are found. Philippians, the third chapter, verse 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. That I may know him. That I may know him. I just want to talk about it's good to know Jesus. It's good to know Jesus. By the way, Brittany back there with the PowerPoint, that's my subject, it's good to know Jesus. It, it just came, that's why I didn't give it to you early. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. It's good to know Jesus. I, I said it's good to know Jesus. If the truth really be known, All right, little do we really know All right. about Jesus. For real. Very little, very little do we really know about Jesus. Don't 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 feel like you're on an island. All by yourself. I've told y'all this many times. The disciples walked with him. And they still didn't really know who he was. In John, he, he, he says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He goes on down to verse 6 and let them know, I am the way. I'm the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. He goes on to tell them, and you have seen, you've seen the Father now, you know. And Philip said, Lord, show us. All right, all right. He said, Philip, had not been so long with you? Yeah. Don't you know, Philip, if you could have seen me, you also have seen the Father. A lot of the questions we have in our minds and heart is simply back to the root of the problem. We really don't know who Jesus really is. Now, now I know some will beg, beg to argue. I, I, I know him, preacher. I know him. I know he, he came and he, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He died on the cross. He got up. And if I receive him by faith, I'm saved. Yeah, that, that, that's good to know. But do you know Jesus? It reminds me of a story I heard once of a lady who had been missionary president for 40 years of her church. And everybody, this woman, every Wednesday night, no matter rain, shine, sleet, or snow, they knew she was going to be at her church at her missionary meeting. Her husband knew it. Everybody knew it. It, 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 wasn't no, it. wasn't no debating about it. And one day, about 4 o'clock in the evening, a strange man came and knocked on her door. Yeah. And she, she went though. She was trying to. She, she started getting ready early. She, that was a big thing for her. And she was in a hurry. So she went to her. She said, yes, may I help you? He, he, he looked at her strange and looked her dead in the eye and said, Lady, do you know Jesus? 
But it was something about that course. That penetrated the very depths of her existence. All right. All right. And, and she was starting. The question resonated. Right. She shut the door and just sat on the bed. In, in amazement. All right. She didn't move. All right. sure. And about six o'clock, her husband came home and he noticed her car was still there. And he knew that was unusual because he knew all the time she would be gone. He walked in, she was sitting halfway ready, still sitting on the bed. And he said, what's wrong? She said, a stranger came by. She said, a stranger? What, 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 who, what, what do you want? He asked me, did I know Jesus? He said, is, is that all? He said, well, did you tell him you've been the missionary president of your church for 40 years? Did you tell him what church you go to that you're a member of the Mount Zion Baptist Church on Purdy Road? <laughs> did you tell him? She said, but baby, he didn't ask me that. <laughs> he asked me if I knew Jesus. That's what I'm asking y'all today. I ain't asking you what church you go to, how long you been in. My question is, do you know Jesus? Paul says, we talking about the apostle Paul. Started and evangelized many church missionary journeys. And he writes the words of the text. He kind of blows my mind. I thought, Paul, you already knew all it was to know about you. You got knocked off of your bees of light shine from heaven. You own missionary for Christ. Paul said, but I don't know him like I want him. Like I need to know. Paul said, I, I, that I may know him. I, I got to stop right there. That I may know him uh -huh. and let me let me share something with y'all y'all can come up in here and pat clap to the choir saying yes, be on program or do this and that right. uh -huh. sit back there and, and smile and do all that but the real issue do you really know you got to know Jesus uh, have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and know him for yourself. Paul said that I may know him. But now, Paul just really want to go a little bit deeper with Jesus. Now, 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 now everybody ain't ready for where Paul is. All right. Because if you want to get where Paul is, Paul said, I may know him. He already met him. He already had a personal encounter. Yes, there, there's some fundamental things you got to know before you get to where Paul is. All right, Come on with it. Come on. First of all, you got to know, to know him, You've got to know that there's an onlyness about Jesus Christ. Did y'all hear what I said? A fundamental thing you need to know is that there's a certain onlyness about Jesus Christ. What's that on? He's the only way to the Father. That's it. You need to know that. You better stop turning this TV mess off. Listen to folks talking about their many ways. All right. All right. Jesus said, I am uh -huh. the way, uh -huh. the truth, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but by me. You got to know that there's a holiness about Jesus Christ. He's the only way to the Father. 
And then you got to know this. He's the only one that can save you. By no other name given in heaven and earth whereby man can be saved other than the name. I wonder if Shirley sees a song that song, Oh Jesus, how I love calling your name. Then Timothy Wright came back and said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> it's something about that name of Jesus. There's a certain loneliness. Now, I don't care. You, you, you know, the, the sad thing is, uh, most of us are buying into the devil's lie. And he's been a liar from the beginning. Uh, he, he's a deceiver. His job is to deceive the whole world. And a lot of folks are buying into Satan's lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all, 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 y'all know that. Y'all, I choir some song. A lot of y'all, y'all know a fellow named Kirk Franklin. Don't you? y'all heard of some? Of y'all heard of him, right? Everybody heard of? Yes, sir. You need to check folks before you keep on. When some of y'all get home, well, you know, this day and time, I don't want you Googling it up in here. You need to be listening right now. But just Google his name. He, he, he says now, they made millions off of church folk. But now he's declared that Jesus is as fake as the Easter Bible. Y'all ain't hearing me. Satan is still trying to sell his lie, y'all. It used to be a time that on Easter Sunday you couldn't find a seat. What you say? What you say, man? Yes, sir. But now, really, if any of y'all want to get up and move, you can just about sit anywhere. Uh, you, 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 you want to sit. Yesterday, I was blessed to go to Trevor to do a conference. They had a, a giveaway. A giveaway. They had the high school. They, they, they rented the high school so they uh, could. But there was one stipulation. Yeah. You were going to have to hear the word before you get out of anything. Uh-huh. But you know what the folks in that community said? Said, well, if we got to hear about Jesus, y'all keep it. Uh-huh. You know why I know they said that? Because the crowd was mighty thin. <laughs> Listen, Satan is going to let a lot of folks buy in on here. You're going after worldly things and the things of the world and I, I'm here to tell you today they're only temporal and they don't like. That's why the scripture says, what profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Yes sir, yes sir. That's the book, boy. That's the book. Yes sir. And it's not hard to get to know Jesus. First of all, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and I'm knocking. He's intelligent. He's not going to break in on He's not going to force you to get saved. He's not going to force you to go to heaven or to hell. If you go, it's a choice that you make. He has provided the way. In other words, the table is spread. I remember mama she used to cook, come home, work, cook the meal. We be out in the backyard shooting basketball. All right. After a while, she said, "All right, dinner ready." All right. She yeah. leave it alone. No, no. See, Mama, they love her. I keep on shooting. She come back right back. All right, I done told you, Leon, dinner's ready. Well, I guess we came up with a family like Charles. He said, you just got one car. <laughs> if, you, if you missed that one. <laughs> yeah, but see, mom only had two, she, and she spoiled us. So she, 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 you know. She, but let me tell you something. That was my mama calling me to the dinner table. Yes, sir. The Lord said, I, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Uh-huh. And if you open up, I'll come in. And I'll have fellowship with you. And you with me. I'll sup with you. You can sup with me. In other words, he's intelligent. He's not going to force you 
into salvation. He did all the work, y'all. He died on Calvary for the remissions of our sin. That, that, that's, yeah. But we're buying in to the devil's lie. The devil telling some of y'all, this God thing ain't nothing to it. You thinking like Kurt Frank, oh, it's just faith. It's just, I tell you what, keep on living. There's going to come a time you're going to need a God in your life. And I, I, what I'm here telling y'all, that time is going to come in all of our life. And what I'm trying to tell you through the message today, that when that time comes, it's good to know Jesus. To know Jesus. Paul said that I might know him. Yes, sir. And the power of his resurrection. Yes, you, you got to accept him to know him. That's the fundamental part. Right. But, but once you get to know him, Paul, Paul said that I might know him. I know a lot of y'all. And it's bothering me because what, what bothers me nowadays is folks think they can just come to church All right. okay. and just live any kind of way yes, sir. Yes, sir. that they want to live. Yes, the, you buying into the devil's life. You don't know him if you can, think you can come and, and, and praise him on Sunday and go out and do whatever you build enough uh, you make you feel good during the week. Y'all not believing what I'm telling you. You not you not you really not believing what I'm what I'm trying what I'm trying to tell you. As the old folks say, I I I can show you better than I can tell you. Look at First John, the second First John, the second chapter. Verse three. Second John, first John, second chapter, first three. It says, and hereby we do know that we know him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right there just a minute. Do you know? He, he says, and hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. <laughs> he that said, I know him. And keeping not his commandments is a lie. Come on, man. And the truth is not in him. All right. All right. I didn't say it. Let me let me give y'all directions to that again. First John. All right. The second chapter. Uh -huh. <laughs> let, 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 let me. So what I'm saying is, some of us are embarrassment to the faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For real. For real. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't catching. For real. If you say you know him, yes, sir. and you do in and everything, you're an embarrassment to the faith. Yes, sir. How can you say you know? Listen here. Verse 5 says, But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know that we that we are in him. That's how you know you in him when God's love is perfected in your everyday life. Uh -huh. 
I, I know the devil got sold us on his lie. Yeah. What he do? We we'll look at uh, I, 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 I develop a new style. All right. What I do, I, I you know, I, I'm not a. I look at old pray. You know, that, well, I, I'm not bad to pray. Pray things to stand. All right. I look at Robert and say, well, I, I'm a little better than Robert. In my own mind. That's in my own yes, imagination. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I said, well, I'm better than Robert. I'm going by the wrong step. The word of God is the standard. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's the word of God. We all have to comply with the word of God. In the Bible, ain't you? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And y'all know we Baptist folk. We've been living a lie a long time. Okay, come on. We, we've been coming to church on Sunday, getting drunk and drinking and doing everything. Right. Listen, the word of God is the word of God. Right. And the sad thing, another thing that Satan is stealing souls and people's life, drugs, destroying lives and families. Hello. Paul said that I might know him. If you love me, if you know him, you will keep his what? Amen. Commandments. That I might know him in the power of his resurrection. In other words, I, I know, I, I'm done, I, I keep coming. Uh, Paul said, I want to know him. Yeah. But in order to know him in his resurrection, I got to know some of the fellowship yes, sir. of his sufferings. Y'all, right. y'all, now that's where we don't want to know him at, really. Yes, sir. We all want to walk through the golden streets of glory. Yeah, we, do know. we all want to wear a starry crown. Uh -huh. We all talk about a long white robe. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but many of us don't want to share in the fellowship of his sufferings. Uh -huh. no, no. Yeah, yeah. What what out of fellowship he came unto his own? In his own, receive him not. Uh -huh. The fellowship of his suffering. Uh -huh. He did good everywhere he went, only to be rejected and despised of all men. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't hear me. The, the fellowship, Paul said, I want to know him. Yes, and the power of his resurrection. But before I can get to the resurrection, I got to suffer with Christ. Yeah, I, I, I got to suffer with Christ. Look, look, look what he did 33 years. He, he went along doing good everywhere he went. Uh -huh. Healing the sick and raising up the dead. Uh -huh. Spending time with little children. Yeah. Did you hear him say, suffer little children to come under me uh -huh. and forbid that them not. Yeah, healing the sick, and yeah, all manner of diseases. But 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 look at him, y'all. Uh, look 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 at what they decided that they wanted to do with him. And they say if we thus let him alone, all men will believe in him. And the Romans should come and take both our place in our nation. So they decided to plot to get rid of God's only son. You say you want to know him, do you? Don't worry when you trying to walk in the way of the Lord. When the devil start plotting against your life. Yes, they just trying to plan that they were going to take him him out yeah and they got on the inside they found old Judas uh, who was home, my hungry for money and there's a lot of folk uh, will really never get to know Jesus because of your love for money and worldly things uh, but look at Jesus uh, he still loved us anyhow uh, ain't he alright I gotta know him I gotta know and when they 
put him on trial. Um, yeah, a, a, a religious jury cried out, crucify him. Yes, ain't he all right? I'm out of here, y'all. But I'm glad today that I know him. Yes, I may not know uh, a lot of things, but one thing I know, I know who Jesus is. I know uh, he's my savior. I know uh, I'm his child. I know uh, I'm a child of the king. I know uh, he died one Friday. But thank God early. I said early. 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 On that third day, he got up with all power. Yeah, hey, all right. Yeah, he got power. I know he got power. I know he can save. I know he can heal. I know he got power to raise up, bow down heads. I'm glad I know y'all 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 don't hear me <laughs> some things I may not know but some things I sure enough know y'all <laughs> y'all hear me I said some things I sure enough know I know my Redeemer live I know yeah he got my back Listen, there are some things songwriter says, I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from the sunshine for his skies may turn to gray. And I don't worry over the future. Um, for I know uh, what Jesus said, and today uh, I walk beside him, uh, for he knows uh, what lies ahead. And the songwriter said, there are many things uh, about tomorrow uh, I just don't seem uh, to understand, but I know uh, who holds uh, tomorrow, and I know uh, who holds uh, my head ain't it all right they went on to say every step is getting brighter as the gold stairs i climb every burden getting lighter every cloud is silver light there the sun is always shining there no tear will dim the eye at the beginning of the rainbow where the mountains touch the sky many things about tomorrow i just don't understand but i know who holds tomorrow and i know who holds my head hey all right i know jesus yeah Do you know him? Do you know him? I said, do you know him? The doors of the church open, do you know him? Nicodemus, you know, Jesus said, you got to be born again. Ain't he all right? The doors open. Ain't he good? The doors open. way you're going to really know him, you got to be born again. The doors of the church open. Listen. Long, 
will overgo. I did not know nothing about Jesus in his in his love. I, I'd heard about it, but I had never felt that manner that comes from up above. In this life of sin, I could no longer stand. I asked the question. Somebody tell me, how can I get to know this man? They say, you must be. Don't you see? You just got to be. You've got to be born, born again. Now, if you are a sinner and you've been searching for some peace, for your troubled heart, and here's some troubled heart, y'all. Don't go to your friends. Don't go to your loved ones. Y'all know why? Because from them, no help will you find. You need to turn it over to Jesus. I know he is the one. He can save your soul. I'm a living witness. The man can make y'all whole. But you must be. Don't you see? You just gotta be. You've got to be born again, yeah. You, you must have that fire. It's that burning thing that keeps the prayer. It is the kind of religion you cannot it'll make you move it'll make you shout it'll make you cry you gotta keep your hand keep it wrapped in the winding chain don't you know my soul? Show me they could. You know I'm filled within. I'm free from sin. I've been born, born again. Yeah. Listen. Well, one day. God's love from heaven on me rain. I didn't see nobody, but God knows I sure felt a mighty change deep down in my soul. I felt a sweet relief. I had to run. I had to tell it. For I just could not hold my peace. I've been washed in the blood. In Jesus' precious name. Ever since that day, church, I got converted, y'all. My life has never since been the same. I'm filled with the end. I'm free from sin. God knows I show been. I've been born again. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have. Who is that burning thing? 
that keeps it is the kind of religion it'll make you move it'll make you shout it'll make you cry keep your hands 